Hello, my name is Trond Espen Seim. You are watching uh, Valgvm at MHC Networks. The new series, I think, but uh, it's got a girlfriend. He's trying to live in a relationship. It's not easy for a man who's almost 40 years old and hasn't done that much. The girlfriend is there. One reason is, of course, to make a different body, but it's also you know, about this long term. And I want him to move in and I want him to move out, and because that's a long term thing, and you, but you have to make it work in each single picture. Okay. One thing I want to make, try to make, explore more for this this series is that he he's not flawless at all with the, with the youth. He f***s up. Yeah. yeah, I think that's maybe we can explore that more. I, I I think that's in in meeting when he meets children and teenagers. I think he, we have made it too easy for him in the first series. I want to. They're not. Uh, I want to make uh, those meetings where, where I can find it in the stories to make them more complicated. Riding on the wall is, uh, it, which of course someone would, Varig has met in his past many years ago when he worked in the social services. And, uh, and his uh, enemy, it's, uh, he's called a knife. But it's uh, with Nikolai Likos, he's a great Danish actor, which I think brings much quality to the, to the movie and lifts it. Black Sheep, I think it's more like a regular crime thriller kind of story. Uh, the other one, Dödens Drabante, it's called in Norwegian. Uh, it's not called the same in English at all. Uh, that's more uh, more personal personal story for uh, for like, because that's when he when he worked with the social security he, he took you uh, a little boy from from his family and put him put him uh, under under the wings of the the government you know and uh, it didn't turn out well it's that's the thing I talked about before that I think you know, when you read the script he. It's too easy to meet uh, the boy. It's like because Vaig is in some kind of strange way like a father figure to him. But uh, he got uh, involved too much involved personal, and then he has to take responsibility for it. And uh, I want to explore that. It's, it's the anti-hero, you know. It's uh, the success of. I think that people this is, uh, sitting in cinemas and in front of the television, watching DVD as a Blu-ray. It's, it's not. Either they want to see something they can't uh, relate to, you know, like James Bond. How can you relate to James Bond? It's not that easy to figure girls, you know? So it's, it's like a dream. But it's like the private detectives, you know, when you see like Chinatown, which is one of my favorite movies. You can relate to Jack Nicholson. You know, it's uh, a little bit exotic, I think. <laughs>